tired, yes. You have to train your mind, man. It's gonna be one way. No, you can do it. We've already seen you do it. So. The, the show, right, uh, 10 days out, and then right after that, it's gonna go into Summer Shredding Week. We need more info on the Ozone, what about it is unique, what's special. I want a few of those traits. I think what's unique about it is like the fact that it's literally the softest, seamless, recycled fabric that I've ever felt in my life. Like there's only one total. Mm. And we still don't have athlete sets for that. Okay, uh, yeah, be sure the leggings and the short match, which everyone looks better, go with that one and make them match that. We ask you the same questions every day. What are you doing for workout? Raw commentary. best Halloween costume I've ever done. Yeah, that was scary. Yeah, that was a good one. And I was so in character, bro. You like, were really good. I remember. I was in character. Yeah. No, you were so, you were, it was kind of scary. It was very was. scary. Yeah. Did you practice? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, I did the laugh and everything, bro. <laughs> oh. God, you hear that? <laughs> yeah, bro. Sure even heard that one. Bro, <laughs> God. 
<laughs> Two types of people. <laughs> Immigrants. Oh, Immigrants who don't have Sprite Zero. <laughs> it's a commodity. Do you have those there? Yes. Really? But you have really good chicken that's sold in the mar in like the markets yeah, that's already yeah. cooked. Like, we don't have that here. It's yeah. so the one thing I love about I know, every single time, like when me and Christian have been to Europe in the past, the first, the first stop at the airport is always like we don't, we don't even leave the airport, we go straight for chicken. Cooked barbecue <laughs> thin sliced chicken, it tastes fucking great. You yeah. just put that with a little microwave rice, <laughs> UK, I'm good to go. I wanna feel comfortable. <laughs> I wanna feel alive. I wanna feel nice and strong, you know? Mm -hmm. Like a fucking tank. Bro, have I have a 315 on the bar right now? Bro, I was about to ask, like when do you think you'd be back on 315? Oh, like. I would love to see you back at 315. Yeah, easy. The only reason I wouldn't try it right now is because I haven't been benching. Like whenever I like, have to eat into it. yeah, like my, this bulk, I'm gonna focus on very, very select movements. Like when I was doing Jeff Weber's full body, like not that the full body is a special part, but just like literally the same movements. I, I tracked every single weight, every single workout for like eight months, and I was getting really strong in those movements. Yeah. I don't need a million dollars. I just want to wipe some kids and a few less problems. 11 days out, grocery haul. It was like an urgent trip because there was like nothing to eat here. Broccolini, really enjoying this recently. Anything that can steam in the microwave, I'm down. So broccolini, broccolini, a third one. I also got asparagus because we are going to be likely incorporating this research prep. This is a natural diuretic, if you didn't know, so yeah. Bell peppers, cucumbers. These again are the number one low calorie snack, okay? Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurts. I'll show you guys all the time. And I love blueberries, so I got a lot of blueberries. Raspberries, 96 four lean ground beef. Some pineapple, okay, so I wanna make that stir fry again. So good. Egg beaters, got like five of these. I like having these in the morning over egg whites. Tastes better, makes you feel like you're having normal eggs because they're yellow. Rice cakes, this is the lowest calorie Quaker rice cake that you can get. Oven roasted turkey breast, breast, best. <laughs> turkey, I'm, I'm gonna finish, bro, I'm gonna finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oven roasted turkey breast, I love this bread so much. It just like, oh, so good. Um, almond milk, I like to get the 30 calorie one right there. Not gonna have many of these, but like at night when I'm literally just like so hungry, one or two, maybe, you know, for the next few days would be okay. Right there, <coughs> yep, got four of those. That's it. Good job, Ray. You did it. Thanks, man. I made it through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good job. Oh, wow. <gasps> so, guys, we have a photo shoot. That's nice. Like, we, as in the three amigos plus Nala, like, campaign for Alpha Elite, our summer launch. Brought Heidi all of the new oversized like women's you stuff. Oh, wow, I love this size packaging. It looks expensive. It is. You rich, rich? Have you seen any packaging of them? You have them, right? That's premium. Premium is great. We have the zipper, so returns exchanges are easier to process. Oh, that's cool. Mm. See how smooth that is? How smooth. So smooth. Unzipped. Yes, are those CB, are those, are those gummies? Are y'all sm smoking pot? Delta 8. Delta 8? Delta wow. Yeah. Nabil, you've lost so much weight since you first got here. I'm gonna yeah, literally yeah, yeah. insert, okay, you're on this side right now. We're gonna split the screen. We're gonna insert the clip when you first got here. I'm not gonna, when you first got here, it was like. That was kinda chunky. Yeah. Well, I was just like, cause I know, you know, and like, I, yeah. So you're over here now, and now you're here. Good shit, man, good shit. It's I will easy. say that you haven't done cardio um, with me in a while now, but you're still doing great. Yeah? Will you smoke a lot of weed or what? Yeah. <laughs> All jokes aside, we, we're really not um, like big into that. Nothing wrong with it. We're just not, we're, we're not like. <laughs> We're not stoners. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's trying to say. What's up, guys? We are about to call Alex, my coach. Um, we are 11 days out. I just want to kind of recap just... <sighs> I'll, I'll talk more about it in a bit. Um, but, yeah. Um, we had some stuff happen in the family and everything. So, just, I, and I'm going to obviously be, like, fully attend, like, there. Uh, I just want to get a game plan for roughly like what I need to sort of expect uh, and prepare myself for in the next few days because I will be traveling um, to go be with the family. Um, so yeah, we're just going to kind of talk to him and catch up real quick. 
comes off here, like record it. What's up, my man? How are you? Thanks for taking the call so late. Nah, oh, man, you're good. I'm cooking anyway. Congratulations, man. First off, fuck. <laughs> Congratulations. I haven't talked to you since. I know, man. It's crazy. It's, it still doesn't feel close. It's like I was saying, uh, it's weird because I started by building a make goal up, just making it to the Olympia. Now I'm here. <laughs> I didn't really have a goal after this, so. Obviously, like, so today, the grandma passed away. Uh, we've been expecting for a few days now, but it was definitely pretty, like, um, she was just here at Alpha and, like, two, three weeks ago, pretty crazy. But um, essentially, I just wanna get an outline of what to sort of expect as far as like, you know, I know we're 10 days out tomorrow. I mean, I'm gonna make everything work, still going to Dallas, uh, all that, but I am gonna go there, probably, it's probably gonna happen like Saturday or Sunday, the, the funeral. So I'll probably be in Dallas like Monday or Tuesday. It's gonna be a lot of like road tripping, a lot of driving, stuff like that. So I just wanna kind of have an outline of where the macros are going to likely be he, you know how they're going to be looking any like specific foods i need to start bringing in yeah. some asparagus and stuff like that water like i want to get all that kind of like just generally outlined yeah so that's so that's the main thing here so i'm going to want you to pick two to three proteins that you're going to consider so I, I prefer two i want to keep things pretty simplistic two proteins that you're typically going to use on a consistent basis now that's outside of the eggs and stuff like that i mean chicken or you know uh, some kind of beef or something in a peak week the most I will deplete you for that I can see is, a, is three days. Your depletion won't, won't ever be zero carb, like some other, because you're already, you're, you're there. Mm. So it'll be, I can't, I don't want to throw a number out there because at the end of the day, you never know. It'd be lower than 250 though? If I have to deplete you more, it will be, yeah, I'm okay. telling you that right now. We're going to pull water and fill you up at the same time. Thank you so much for coming by. Yeah. I told Paul, if you guys are going to like a monochromatic look, I would not use the same front oh, as I would the back. Holy shit. Um, I think it looks great. You like it like that? Yeah, I think oh it looks Oh my gosh, great. perfect then. He can start tomorrow morning as soon yeah, as he gets there. I love it, dude. Okay, awesome. I love it. There's two of them? I was super worried. No, this was just the front, but I just wanted you to be able to compare like the front to the back. Yeah, I so love it. So you could it. see that it's the same color. That's a really cool one. I think that's my favorite one. That's my favorite one too. Yeah, for real? Yeah. yeah. And they're going to sell out real quick. Um, 10 days out, which is tomorrow. Quick recap. I start my water load, which means two gallons a day. Um, starting tomorrow, so we'll do that. Uh, and then essentially my carbs are gonna, my macros are gonna stay the same for the next few days, like kind of through the weekend. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of peak week, we'll be having our depletion phase. Good morning guys, we are um, 10 days out. It's June 8th right now. Uh, we're about to weigh in uh, and I have some exciting news to tell you. One seventy-eight point zero. I don't know if that's a, a low. Yeah, I think it is. I think it might be. That's a low. All right. So June eighth. Hell yes, it's exciting. It's exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and take some photos and videos um, on this little tripod thing right here. This is really convenient. It makes the whole process like go from something that I don't want to do because it sounds annoying taking pictures, setting up the camera like letting it fall, but this makes it very easy. So there's no excuse. Figured it out, the right? What the fuck? Bro, I have to see, I push it. What the fuck? Low. I saw it. Last night, I have all the clips, so. Uh, after my cardio, I was practicing posing. The way I set this up, this, and I've never practiced with just this in like a mirror. I set it up here with the, with, so I, I could like see the phone in the mirror. Brilliant, I never really thought of it because Nabil's always kind of filming, right? But I was able to, I kind of like just, I could see in the mirror very clearly like what, I was like, I had more time to fuck around with it, you know what I mean? So it was just me for like 45 minutes, like dripping, soaking wet, like saw it look good for the first time. And it, it's because I watched Alex's show day and I was watching a lot. Kind of like, re like rewinding, rewinding, and kind of seeing like very, very slow in the the breathing. It's very, very slow. So I was kind of just messing around, trying to copy like, I don't know, different stuff. And uh, it worked. I was like, holy shit, I think I got it. I think I just figured it out. I was like, so excited. <laughs> Texting Nabil and Alex. And I went to go show Heidi the video. 
uh, or a video, a different one that I took. <laughs> and, uh, she goes, "Holy shit, that, that's a that." She, she realized that that she was like, that's, that's, your, "That's a spot. That's a pose." And then I showed her the screenshot. I showed her this screenshot, and she was like, "Holy shit, you, that that's it. It's like an epiphany." Ali said, "If I bring that, game over." So I'm gonna bring that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to go. Allocate to the team to be a rough leg one, but a good one. A roughy but a goody. What's up, Chels? Hey, so we're gonna um, yeah we cancel the shoot for tomorrow, and I also want to review the um, who you suggested for the July summer launch. And I think we need to do probably two girls, one, one girl at least yeah at least two girls for and those. And then, do you still want me to get a picture? Pictures, everyone is coming. What Plus you suggest the ones for here? That I'm suggesting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So for men, it would be. The more the half wolf had an angle, three lashes and LDB. For women, for the short, it'd be those and then that. Okay. For the women, it'd be this LDB Alfleet one. We have to have something not sold on that one. The, the intense part's coming Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm, I feel like an emotional roller coaster all day. Not, not, not really emotional, but like I have my moments, I'm happy, then I'm like dead. Then I'm just like mumbling. Then I'm like energetic and then it's just, not consistent. <laughs> Bro, I'm, fuck, I need to like, should I do gym one or gym, I think gym two might just kill me, but I think I can do a little both, gym one, gym two. Yeah. Guys, we only have fucking, well, because we're going to Brownsville, we've only got today, what, three more days, four more days at Alfland, and then we go to the to Dallas, Texas for the show. Almost done my first prep here at Alfland. It's one I'll never forget, so. It's my favorite summer training so far, 100%. It's not done yet. the very last leg workout of this entire prep. And it feels pretty weird to say that because I feel like we just started and this went by really freaking quick. Um, or it's going by really quick, we're not done. We ain't done. <laughs> the hardest is yet to come, but a big like chapter feels like it's just closed. And during today's workout, I, Wanted to go into the leg day leaving everything on the table like balls to the wall as hard as I possibly could and Just be sure like I squeeze everything I could out and it was extremely tough light head just like it took it was it was a lot um, and During the I was doing the Smith machine um, so I was like one of my sets of 20 and I was you know, on rep number 14 or 15, I was thinking, like, I was kind of conscious of what am I thinking about right now to push me through this? Because I still have a lot more reps to go. And I'm fucking tired. And I don't want to stop, but I kind of do want to stop. And what kept me going? And the answer for me is literally, I swear, it's a, it's this camera. It's, it's not just, the, it's a camera, but it's the thought that I, 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 ma I make myself think, and I've thought this way for so many years now, I make myself believe that I am setting the example right now. People are looking, and, and even if they're not, even if people just like, you know, enjoy the edits or if they, whatever, like, you have to hold yourself, you have to be doing this shit for something more than yourself. And that goes for everything in life, and how you treat, how you hold yourself, your accountability, 
because at the end of the day like unless you're an extremely extremely rare like breed of human being like the motivation has to be bigger than yourself the truth is like if i didn't have this channel if i didn't have the commitment and the the the, the belief in like the understanding that people are some people are looking to me and for some people if i cut it quits if i cut it short then that's just like letting them cut their life, their decision short and stuff like that. Like I ain't gonna let that happen because I don't want to let that person, I don't want to let that kid down. You know what I mean? And like that is what pushes me. What pushes you is it, uh, taking care of a family member that's like help raise you. It's taking care of your mom's shanta worry, your dad. It's taking care of your, your little brother, right? That maybe you've you've grown up with and taken care of. It's being sure that your your kids and then your kids' kids are set and they don't have to worry. And if you're not thinking like that, like like I, when you wake up with the per and, and there's somebody else involved as well, or another reason aside from just your own like wants in life. It just amplifies what is already there and truly gives you a fucking reason to keep going. So I guess like, I wouldn't be here without this, without this. And I, in, in so many ways, it's like, I, I don't know. I just feel very, very grateful that just this pressure, it's like the pressure I put on myself, but it's really it's just like, I'm not gonna let anything I don't know. I like. I'm, I. I will set the example as good as I possibly can. I promise you that. And that is what has led me to where I am right now. To be honest with y'all. So, um, if I had a piece of advice, it would be find, find something other than just your own wants. And, and like, who are you? What are you doing this for? Who are you doing this for? Who do you want to bring along with you? Who do you want to be like? Who do you want to take care of? And, and, and not. I want to pay them back so they don't have to worry. Find that out. And it, it gives me goosebumps and shit, cause like just with my, my whole grandma and like what, even when Nabil was coming down, like we said this prep is this series is gonna be different, cause there's a purpose behind. There's a purpose. This is dedicated. Like there's so much more behind just what we're doing, and there's a bigger reason. There's a bigger drive. So find your drive and do this shit for, for the right reasons. Do it so you can take care of the ones you love. That's the real reason we're doing what we're doing. So thank y'all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed episode 36 of Summer Sharding 2022. We'll see you in the next one. Rest in peace, Grandma. Love you.